All right. So we'll get started, I guess, now. It's three o'clock. All right. So, hi, everyone. Happy Friday. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to do one more thing. Um, while I'm doing this, I'm just going to remind everyone that we. All right. Just going to remind everyone that we breathe if we can, in and out, or at least in through our nose, especially these days, it's really important to do that. That helps us not only filter the air as it comes in, but also helps warm up our muscles because when we breathe in through our nose, it's sort of a warming breath. So it warms up our muscles before, and it warms our breath before it hits our lungs too. So with that said, let's take a moment real quick and we're gonna practice a little bit of breathing. So you can take your hands, place them on your belly, around your belly button somewhere. And then without forcing, without controlling or anything, just take a few moments to just notice how you're breathing. So start to bring your awareness through your fingertips to the movement into your body. So this time, let's take a deep breath through our nose. And as we do that, notice how the movement changes through our fingertips. And then exhale. Let's do that again, deep breath. And on the exhale, slightly open your mouth and let out a sigh. Do that again, deep breath in. So now if you want to, if it's comfortable, close your eyes. Otherwise look down at the floor somewhere in front of you. And try and do the same thing. Take a few deep breaths following your own comfortable pattern. Perhaps noticing as you inhale how your fingers move away from your spine, and then as you exhale, how they move back in. Then you can release your hands now, perhaps to your thighs if you're sitting in easy pose with your legs crossed. Still with your eyes closed or gazing downward. Let's sit up tall, lengthening our spine. And just take a moment to check in with our body. Noticing any areas that feel like maybe, maybe we've had some soreness this week or felt some tension. Maybe in our back, neck our abdomen, our head, legs, even our feet, our wrists. Just noticing, taking a moment to acknowledge that. And if you'd like to, you can join me in setting an intention for this practice to make the most of this opportunity to Instead of tuning out signals from our body, pushing them aside because we don't have time for that, or that doesn't fit into our plan for the day or whatever, taking a moment to really listen to our body as we move through the shapes and the stillness. Practicing compassion toward our body and toward ourselves. Take another deep breath together and sigh it out. Letting go of anything we carried in with us today. 
You can leave your eyes closed or you can open them. We'll gently shake our head, yes. Yes, we welcome Friday. And then gently shake your no. Let's hold our head still here and we'll do some shoulder circles now. So releasing any tightness in our upper back or shoulders. Let's go the opposite direction now. And stay still here. Let's take a deep breath and reach our arms up toward the ceiling or the sky. There's a lucky people outside. And then just to exhale over to the right, feeling that lengthening along the left side of our torso. We can drop our right hand if we want. Maybe deepen the lengthening a little more. Let's inhale our arms up. And then exhale over to the left. Inhale, our arms up. And then exhale, our arms behind our back, clasping our hands. And if we want to, we can hinge forward. Come back up, inhale, arms up. And then clasp our hands together, press them forward. If we'd like to, we can round out our back, if that feels good. And let's come back up. Let's bring the soles of our feet together into a gentle butterfly. Just taking a moment here to Open up our hips a little bit if we want to, hinging forward a bit from our hips. Let's come back up. So we're going to make our way onto all fours. So our tabletop, we place our hands, our wrists under our shoulders, knees under hips. And for those of you who might have some issues with wrists, shoulders, anything like that. Anything that we do where we're supported by our hands like this, we can always bring it down onto our forearms. It's always an option. Okay, so from here we're gonna do some cat cows. So as we inhale, we'll look up and pull our tailbone up. And then as we exhale, curl our back the other way, bringing our chin to our chest. Inhale up into cow pose. Exhale, catch. So continue doing this at your own rhythm. Your body follows your breath. Notice how this feels along your back, both ways. We're lengthening parts of our back, so you might notice one feels more delicious than the other way. So just pay attention. Let's do one more breath cycle. Pause here in tabletop. We're going to come into our spinal balance now. Right arm comes up parallel with the floor, left leg. So opposite arm to leg. We're looking at the mat so our neck isn't being strained in any way. Let's bring it down and switch to the other side. Left arm, right leg. Again, we can always do this down on our forearm. Switch. 
This time let's move with our breath. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. So continue this following your own breathing. Notice how this feels in your back, glutes, hamstrings, quads, shoulders. That's your balance. This is our first balance pose. Do one more on each side. And then let's pause here on all fours. We're going to do our hydrants. So bring our right leg up, knee bent, and do wide circles like we're painting a circle with our knee. As we do this, we're breathing. And also might notice some activation in our abs. In the opposite direction, same leg. Again, you can always bring this down to your forearms. Let's bring that leg down. We're going to take it to the left leg now, wide circles. Opposite direction. Let's bring that leg down. We're going to take our hips over to the right, looking over our left arm. Noticing how that feels in our back, our right glute. Let's go the opposite direction. back to tabletop and now gently turning our right hand outward pointing our fingers toward our right knee Just gentle stretch here don't force it but noticing how it feels in your wrist your forearm now switch to the other side and back so we're going to shift into a high plank on our knees by placing our hands, walking them forward a bit, and then maybe our knees might have to come back a little bit. So we want to bring our shoulders so they're over our wrists. Our knees are behind our hips. So we're strengthening our shoulders right now. And this can also be done on forearms, remember that. Okay, so we're going to Bend our elbows, keeping them in by our ribs, and then coming all the way to the floor. Let's bring our chest up into cobra. And then push up and sit back on our heels, extending our arms forward into child's pose. Okay, we're going to turn this into a flow, moving with our breath. So we'll inhale up and forward into high plank on our knees. Exhale, low plank, all the way to the mat. Inhale, our chest up. And then exhale, push up and back into child's pose. One more time, inhaling up and forward, high plank. Exhale, bend your elbows all the way to the floor. Inhale, your chest up. And exhale up and back in the child's pose. So pause here for a few breaths. Still here, sort of in child's pose. We're now going to bring our weight forward, keep our arms extended. And then bring the torso back down. So it's like child's pose, but a little more open. So notice how that feels, the lengthening in your upper back, your chest. You can even try to place your forehead on the mat if that feels good.
That was puppy pose, by the way. Sorry, I'm gonna bring it back up into tabletop. Who doesn't love puppies, right? All right, so from tabletop, we're gonna curl our toes under and just pause there for a moment and feel the how good, hopefully that feels in your toes as you stretch them out, stretch out the arches of your feet. And then from here, pressing into our feet, we're gonna raise our knees off the mat. So my knees are a couple of inches off the mat. Pause here, breathe. And then from here, bring our hips up to the ceiling into downward dog and inverted V. Okay, so if you want to, you can walk your dog out here, bending one knee at a time. And just notice any lengthening going on in the backs of your legs and your calves, your Achilles. Notice how that feels. Also notice your breathing. You breathing as you move, same rhythm maybe. Let's hold our dog still here. And then bend both knees, their shins are parallel to the floor. Pause here for a moment. Feel the strengthening in our quads, or shoulders. And then we'll walk our feet forward to meet our hands in forward fold. Let's pause here. We can keep our knees as bent as we want. So definitely keeping them soft. And always noticing how our back feels when we're folded over. This doesn't feel good on our back. The more we bend our knees, the less pressure on our back. So play around with that, see what feels right for you. Bring our hands to our elbows and gently sway our upper body to the rag doll. Breathing. Let's hold it still here, releasing our hands to the floor. And then take a moment to Notice the four corners of your feet, which would be the big toe pad, the big toe pad, and then the heels, each side of the heels. Those four points, just take a moment to notice the grounding there. And then now, without actually moving your feet, press your heels away from each other. It's an energetic action. So you're not actually moving your feet. You might start to feel all that power up through your legs. So keep that feeling as you come up into your half lift. Hands to your shins, lengthening your spine. If you want to, you prefer you place your hands on your quads. So whatever feels good for you today. Come back down into forward fold. And now still keeping that energetic push, the heels away from each other. Let's slowly come all the way up reaching our arms outward and our spines nice and long. Let's reach up to the ceiling or sky. And then extend back with a slight back bend. Come back up, Let's take a deep breath here. And then bring our palms together as we exhale down into forward fold. Inhale again to our half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale slowly all the way up, still pressing through our feet and legs. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, we'll step our left foot back into a lunge. Our right foot goes back to meet it. And now we're in plank plank. Let's pause here. Okay, so remember with planks, we can definitely take it onto our forearms if we have issues with our wrists or shoulders. And all of us will get the opportunity to do that in a little bit. <laughs> but also, you can always drop your knees. The main thing is to have good form here. We don't want to hurt our back. So do whatever's right for you today. So enough of that, Suzanne. I know. It's coming to downward dog. Let's take a moment here. 
can shift around as much as you want. Press your fingers, thumbs, knuckles into the mat, taking the pressure off your wrists. Press your sit bones up to the ceiling, the sky. Feel how that lengthens your spine. Okay, let's bend both knees. And then walk our feet forward into forward fold. Inhale to our half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step one foot back, then the other into high plank. Shift forward, exhale, low plank, bending our elbows, coming all the way to the floor. Inhale, your chest up into cobra. And then exhale, coming through tabletop, curl your toes under and into downward dog. Take our right leg up to the sky. Let's all pretend we're outside, so I'm just gonna say the sky. And then we're gonna bend our right knee and look under our right arm. So our right foot comes over toward the left. Crosses that midline. Let's take that leg up. And then bring it forward, placing our right foot between our hands so we're in a low lunge. Pause here. Okay, so now if you look back at your left foot, you'll replace the pad of your foot with the heel. Okay, so your foot is flat on the floor basically. And then reach your arms forward and come up. So we're in warrior one here. Pressing our feet into the mat, let's relax our shoulders. We can always, if we prefer, I'm going to go back here. If we prefer, we can always place our hands here on our hips. And then if you want to, you can reach back, so slight back bend. And then back up. Okay, let's reach down now, framing our right foot so we're coming back into that lunge. Step our right foot back into high plank. And then if we'd like, we can shift forward, low plank, back up. So yes, a push up and into downward dog. Let's take our left leg up. Now we're gonna bend our left knee, bringing the foot over to the right, looking over our left, uh, under our left arm. And feeling the lengthening in our hip. We're breathing. And then extending that leg up. Let's bring it forward, place our left foot between our hands. So we're back in that lunge. So glancing back at our right foot, let's bring our, um, replace the pad of the foot with the right heel. And once again, reach arms forward, coming up into warrior one. Yeah, coming back. Warrior one. Really pressing our feet into the mat. Strong, peaceful warrior pose. So let's reach up and back. Opening up our heart as well as our hip. Come back up. Reach our hands down, framing that left foot. We're coming into that lunge again. And then bringing our left foot back to our right to meet it in high plank. And again, if we'd like to shift forward, low plank, high plank, downward dog. A couple breaths here. Let's take our right leg up. Pause here. Really feeling the lengthening through the hip, the strengthening of our glutes, power in our legs. And then we'll bring that right foot forward into 
between our hands. So once again, into a lunge. Pause here. And then we'll slowly make our way up into a high lunge. Okay, so bring our torso up, arms up. All right, I can move my mat back, but hold that. So that's Crescent Warrior. And if you'd like to, bring your palms together at heart center. And then we can twist over the right leg. So if you want to, you can open your arms too. Deep breaths here. Especially mindful of the exhale. So let's reach our hands down, step back into high plank. And then from here, we're gonna drop our left knee to the mat and turn our body coming into modified side plank, right arm up, left, right leg extended. And then if you, and by the way, you can always come onto your forearm for this one too. If you feel so comfortable, you can raise your right leg. So bring it into a balance pose here while strengthening our hip flexors. Breathe. Okay, let's leave our leg up there. We're going to bring our right hand down to the mat. So now we'll bring our right leg out to the side, flexing the foot, and then to the back again up in the air. So that again, out to the side, back. Three more. Still breathing. Let's bring it back and then bring it back onto all fours and shift your hips over to the right, looking over your left arm like you did at the beginning of class. And then let's take it the other way. Let's come back onto all fours. We're going to step our left foot back into plank. Right foot meets it and into down dog. Let's take our left leg up. Pause. And reaching up with that left leg up to the sky. And then let's bring that leg forward, placing the left foot between our hands. So from this low lunge, we'll make our way up into our high lunge, Crescent Warrior. Arms up if that feels good, otherwise on your hips. And if you'd like to, bring your palms together and twist over to the left. Opening your arms if you want. Deep breaths. Deep cleansing breaths. Still breathing through our nose. Okay, let's reach down, step back into high plank. And now we'll do modified side plank to the left. So dropping our right knee to the mat, extending left leg and arm out. And then raising our left leg if you'd like to balance there. Breathing into it. Okay, let's lower our arm and keep our leg up there. Now bring the leg out to the side with a flex foot and back, side, back. Three more. Breathing. Noticing the power in your whole core. Last one. 
in, let's bring it onto all fours. Shift your hips over to the left, looking over your right shoulder. And let's go the other way. Okay, come back onto all fours. Step your left foot back, right foot back so we're in plank again. And from here, we're gonna bring it down onto our forearms. So forearm plank. So again, paying attention to your form. You wanna have a neutral neck, so you're not looking out to the sides or around, looking down kind of, or breathing. And notice if your hips are coming down toward the floor or popping up like in downward dog. You might want to bring your knees to the mat if that's happening. Just support your back. Three more breaths here. Okay, let's place our right hand down, then our left coming up into high plank, and you can always do this on your knees. Back down onto your forearms. Left hand. Then right up into high plank. Shift forward and all the way to the mat. Bring your arms alongside your body. Take a few breaths here. You might notice your heart rate is quite high. That's good. And let's bring our right foot in, so right hand to foot. And now we're gonna bring our left foot in and just pause here, noticing any, hopefully it feels good in your quads. It's also, we don't even have to come up into bow pose, just doing this gives us a bit of a back bend. Okay, release your feet to the floor. Let's bring our arms in front, extending our arms out. So we're gonna bring our arms up, our chest, our feet and our legs into superwoman, superman pose. Our neck is neutral and we're breathing. Okay, let's stay up there and now bring our arms out so it's sort of more of a V. Breathe. Rotate your quads. Making, feeling that power come into your glutes, your lower back. And release. So your hands are on the mat over by your shoulders and out. Take a few breaths here. Let's bring our hands closer down by our ribs and turn our face forward, pressing the, bot the tops of our feet into the mat. Once again, rotating our thighs outward. So engaging our glutes here and then lengthening through our spine. So we'll bring our chest up and we're just relying on the power in our core right now. Our hands aren't doing anything. We could Wiggle them like jazz hands and we won't be going anywhere. Just breathe into cobra. Okay, now let's press up through our hands. Really coming up with the seal. And then relax back into child's pose. If you want to, you can rock your hips or do circles. That feels good. You're loosening your back muscles. Now let's slowly come on up and from tabletop, make our way into high plank, downward dog. Let's take our right leg up. Bring it forward into a lunge. Okay, 
And so from here, we're gonna place our back foot flat on the mat. Place our right hand on our right thigh and come all the way up. Bring our arms out. Our hips are to the side, to the long edge of our mat. So we're basically in warrior two. So we're really pressing into our feet, feeling that power in our legs like we wanna rip our mat in half. Breathe. Let's reach over the right and then come down as we slowly straighten or lengthen our right leg without locking our knee and reach up with our left arm. Breathe here. You can bend your right knee if you prefer. So just see, notice how this feels on your back. Okay, let's bend our right leg, come back up using the power of quads, come back up into warrior two. And then we'll bring our left arm onto our left leg, reach our right arm up, breathing into this. And back to warrior two. Okay, let's straighten out the front leg and we're gonna turn, so all 10 toes are facing the long edge of the mat. Okay. So now we'll inhale our arms. I can't see anything like that. We'll inhale our arms up and then exhale down into a wide squat. Inhale up, exhale down. Again, one more up and then pause here in this wide squat. So pause here, holding our arms out. Okay, now we're gonna turn and we come back to my mat from here. We're gonna turn to the left and come back down into a low lunge, but this time we're on the other side. So depending on how your mat is facing your computer, you might wanna shift. So from here, we're gonna place our right foot back on the mat. Left hand comes to left quad and come all the way up and out, so we're back into our warrior two on the other side now. Breathe into it. And then extend out to the left, and then slowly straighten out your left leg. If that feels comfortable, reaching up with the right arm. If this doesn't feel comfortable, you can bend the left leg and place your left hand on your left thigh. So just notice what feels good for your body. You're like, uh, when we were lying down, that felt good for my body. I know, we'll get back to that. Breathe. Okay, now bend your left knee if you haven't already. And then we're gonna place our right hand on our right thigh, reaching up with our left arm. Reverse warrior. Back to warrior two. And now once again, straightening out our left leg, pointing all 10 toes toward the front or the wrong side of the mat. And now we're actually gonna walk our feet back in a little bit so they're more, just a little bit more than hip width apart. And now let's take a deep breath, reaching up. And then back down, we're coming into a squat. It's kind of like your regular squat as opposed to that wider one we just did. Let's pause here. Okay, let's slowly come about halfway up and pause. And then slowly come all the way up. We'll inhale back down. Exhale slowly up. So as we come up, we can feel that power. Inhale down. Exhale up. Let's 
So feeling the power as we come up, really pressing through our legs and our feet. Feeling the lengthening as we come down. Okay, we're gonna pause at the bottom here. Let's come about halfway up and pause. And let's come all the way up. Take a deep breath, reach your arms up. Palms together, heart center, back down, and let's pause and forward fold. A few breaths here, letting the blood come back to your head. Okay, let's walk our feet together so we're in forward fold. And then if you want to, you can grab your big toes and pull your upper body toward your thighs. Bend your knees as much as you want. Nobody can see you anyway. <laughs> And release that. Okay, let's inhale to our half lift, hands on our shins or thighs. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step forward, walk out whatever you need to do to get into high plank. Shift forward, exhale, low plank. And then either come all the way down to the mat or come up to the tops of your feet, either cobra or up and dog. And then exhale, down dog. So let's do a full sun salutation. We're gonna bend both knees. Walk your feet forward into forward fold. And now moving with your breath, we'll inhale. So half lift, exhale, forward fold, inhale all the way up, exhale, forward fold, inhale, step back into high plank, shift forward, exhale, low plank, and then inhale, either cobra or upper dog, and exhale, downward dog. Pause here for a couple breaths. And pressing your sit bones up to the sky, lengthening your spine. Take our right leg up, downward dog split. And bring it forward, placing our right foot between our hands into our lunge. And then we're going to twist to the right, raising our right arm. So feeling maybe a lengthening in your right IT band, glute, the right shoulder. Let's lower that arm. Come on to our back knee. Bring our body up, palms together, pointing our index fingers up and lengthening back. So slight back bend, feeling the lengthening in your left hip, perhaps quad. And then coming back up, let's extend our front leg and then bring our heart toward our thigh. Try to do so without rounding our back. It's Holding forward from our hip. And we never want to force any stretches, so if we feel it in our hamstring, just notice it. And if it feels good on the next exhale, soften into it. Or not. It's always your choice. Okay, let's bring that foot flat, walk it out to the right side of your mat and bring your hands to the inside of your right foot. Pause there. Play around here, see how it feels in your whole groin area, your inner thighs as we lengthen. And if you want to, you can bring it down onto your forearms. If you want to make it a more active stretch, you can Curl your toes under your left foot and replace 
take your knee off the ground. As you do that, that though, press into your right foot. Takes the pressure off, distributing the effort. Let's bring it down. I'm gonna bring your body up. And then fold your right leg in front of you. Your left leg is still extended behind you. Your back balance is centered. We're not collapsing into the right cheek here. And then come forward if that feels comfortable, noticing as you do so how that feels in your right glute, your right IT band, hamstring, your back. And let's pause here and breathe. Slowly come on up from that. Bring our right leg back through tabletop. Curl our toes under. High plank and downward dog. Let's take our left leg up and bring it forward, placing our left foot between our hands into our lunge. And then we'll twist to the left now. Deep breaths. Every time we breathe in a twist, we're helping our digestive system. We're also practicing what is it like to breathe when it's harder to breathe, like when we're stressed out or when we twist. Okay, let's unravel that twist. Come on to our back knee, bring our body up. Palms together, pointing our index fingers up and stretching back. Let's come back up, extend our left leg, bring our heart toward it. And as always, being curious how our body feels and being kind to it. Flat onto that left foot, scooch it out to the left side of our mat and bring our hands to the inside of the foot. Pause here. Feel that lengthening. We want to come in onto our forearms. If you like, we can raise our right knee. And as we do so, how does it feel to then press into the left foot? Notice that distribution. Let's lower that knee, bring our body up, and now we'll shift our left leg, holding it in front of us. Right leg is extended, balance is centered, and then folding forward if that feels comfortable. Relaxing, breathing. Slowly come on up. We'll bring our right leg around. Bring it flat. Oh, both feet are flat on the floor. Let's reach our arms forward and extend our back so it's not rounding out, right? It's nice and long, lengthened, our heart is open. And now we're going to come back just to where we're activating our abs. And let's check in. Am I breathing? Yes. Okay, good. All right, let's bring our feet up if you want to, to mini boat. 
Pause here, it's our final ab work. I know, I know how much you hate those words, final ab work. Breathe. Shake it off. Two more breaths here. And then let's roll onto our back and bring our knees in, give ourselves a hug because we are just so amazing. Roll around on your back if that feels good. Okay, let's place our feet flat on the floor and bring our hips up into bridge pose. Let's uh, pretend we're squeezing something between our knees that we don't want to let go, feeling how we then notice the power of our quads, hamstrings, glutes, back. Breathe. And release your hips down. Bring your right foot onto your left thigh. Bring your knees in toward your chest and then gently roll onto your left elbow. Bring your knees in a little more. Notice how that feels in your right glute, hamstring. Breathe. Let's come back to the center. And now switch legs. So now our left foot is on our right thigh. Bring our knees in. And then slowly roll up to your right elbow. And once again, bring your knees in. A little bit more. Notice how this feels on your left side. Let's come back to the center, bring your feet down to the floor, and then bring the soles of your feet together, releasing your knees to the floor so it's like butterfly but lying down. And take a few breaths here. You'd be tuning into your heart rate as it's most likely to be slowing down at this point. Extend your legs out. And then let's take a deep breath, reaching our arms up toward the sky and then over our head. And let's stretch everything out. Feeling that lengthening all throughout our body. Next, inhale, raise your arms up to the sky. And then gently lower them at your sides. Close your eyes if you like. Coming into Shavasana, final resting. Relax your forehead. Cheekbones, your jawbones. Feeling your upper back as it softens into the mat. Middle of the back, lower back, glutes, backs of your legs. Each fronts of your legs, hip area, front of your torso, your hands, arms.
chest, neck, head. And then your whole body relax. Notice your breath. The sensation as you inhale, how your body moves upward. You pause and then you exhale and your body comes back down to the earth. You pause and then you do it all over again. And if you have a thought, or rather when you have a thought unrelated to your breathing, as soon as you notice that in that moment you're being mindful, then you have a choice to continue along the story or to see yourself perhaps at the edge of the ocean and letting the story, the thought go in the next wave and then bringing your focus back to your breath. We were born singing. Song is not a luxury, but a necessary way of being in the world. Somehow we have been fooled into thinking that song is entertainment, something we can do without, like dessert. But to give voice to what lives inside is what keeps all things possible. In truth, the minute we arrive, we are born singing. Though this is often mistaken for crying. Yet without this deep reflex, the lungs won't work and the lifelong exchange between inner and outer can't begin. I remember my first day alone at home after my rib surgery. For the first time in months, everything was still. The morning light now filling the space where my rib used to be. Suddenly, Finally, I began to weep loudly as pockets of fear and pain and exhaustion escaped. This release was a song, and what I hadn't realized was that once released, once the buildup of my journey was given a way out, life with its thousand energies and its softnesses could come in. Such a simple secret. By letting things out, we also let things in. So if you're cut off in pain, estranged, numb, sing, give voice to anything. It needn't sound pretty. Simply, bravely, open despite the difficulty and let what is in out and what is out in. Sing and your life will continue. March 27th, Mark Nebo and the Book of Awakening. Just slowly moving your fingers, your toes. Wiggling around a bit. 
And when you're ready, slowly making your way up into your easy pose, legs crossed, sitting tall. Eyes still closed or looking downward, still focusing on your breath and the sensations in your body. Relax your forehead, your jaw bones, soften your shoulders. Let's bring our palms together at heart center. And take a moment to thank our body, this incredible body that we all have. We only have one of and it carries us throughout our life. Let's take a moment to thank it for its strength patience, wisdom, resilience, power. It's beauty inside and out. And then perhaps if you'd like to, setting an intention for yourself going forward, perhaps with the rest of this day or however long, to remember that no matter what is going on in the world, in our world, in our life, we can always listen to our breath, listen to our body, come home to it. We always have that power, that choice. So let's all take a deep breath now. And then as we exhale, bowing forward, namaste. I'm turning on my video to say. Yes, thing. everyone. Hang on, I'm going to take off the microphone so I can hear you. There. All right. Hi. I just wanted to say. <laughs> Namaste, Anne. I'm glad you live. Thank you. This was awesome. Great. Thank you. I'm looking at who's here. All right. So we got, we had Bree in, in Connecticut, Elizabeth in Denver, Jane, Jane and some hot dude in Great Falls, Virginia. <laughs> oh. Annette in Sweden, Kristen, Atlanta. Yay. Anne, you're in Charlotte. Uh, Jen in Connecticut, Beth in Connecticut, Lauren, hi Lauren, hi. <laughs> Lauren's here in Virginia, Springfield, I think, right? Reston. Oh, you are? Oh, I didn't know you were that close. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, Deanna, Deanna, where are you? I'm in Vienna. And where are you? Uh, Virginia, Vienna, Virginia, yeah. Oh, okay, Vienna, I thought you said Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> Vienna. All right, awesome. And then I see Kelly, but Kelly's muted, so I don't know where Kelly is. Kelly is in Connecticut with me. Oh, okay. All right, awesome. Well, you guys, thank you so much for being here. And I'm probably going to do, I had a few requests for class for tomorrow. So if I do that, I'll put it in the Facebook group. I think you're all in that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll figure out a regular schedule so it's not so, although I don't know what a regular schedule means anymore, so it's kind of a myth. <laughs> love you guys. Everyone have a great rest of your Friday. Thanks for being at happy hour with me. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Being wise. Bye. Bye. Bye.